I always say excuses are like buttholes. Everyone's got one and they all stink. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the BS excuses that you tell yourself that's holding you back from the success that you want and the success that you absolutely deserve. Here's the thing that I'll say before we dive into it. In your life, you can either find an excuse or you can find a way. Life is, is literally that simple. If you wanted to, you could find a million excuses why you're not succeeding. You could, and you can, you can make all of those seem as legitimate as possible. Or you can just stop making excuses so you can find a way. And I wanna dive into one specific excuse that I hear quite often. And as I'm talking about, I wanna talk about other excuses. And one of those excuses that I hear so much, it's almost sickening, is that people will use their children as an excuse as to why they are not where they want to be. Now, this is just one example, but if you don't have any children, this will definitely relate to you as well. So keep listening, right? And it's actually quite sickening how often I hear people use their children as the excuse as to why they're not succeeding at the level that they want to succeed at. It's actually insane because they use their children as the excuse. And I always say excuses are like buttholes. Everyone's got one and they all stink. But you can make the decision of just letting go of your excuses if you fully want to. And the reason why I, I hate this excuse and I hear it too often is because it's not the children's fault. Like if you have children and you say, oh, I wish I, if I didn't have kids anymore, I would definitely be able to succeed. If I didn't have to feed my children, I would definitely be able to do this. If I didn't have to wake up early, uh, and take care of the kids, I would definitely have time for myself. And the reason why I hate this excuse is because it's not your children's fault. To, to blame someone else outside of yourself, especially if it's your children, is absolutely ridiculous. So let's dive into it and talk about it because number one, your children need to be relieved from the burden that you've put onto them. And number two, all of you guys who don't have children are still putting your excuses somewhere. And that's the thing that you have to realize. Either you make excuses or you find a way. That's all that you really need to know. And I will say this, if you do have kids, could it be harder to succeed? Probably, yes, I, I will admit that. Is it impossible to succeed? No. I will admit that when you don't have children to take care of that are taking your time, you have more time to invest into your future, more time to invest into your business, more time to invest into your own personal growth. But it doesn't mean that it's impossible. Because if you have, let's say you have four kids, right? You have four kids and you know, they're all under the age of 10. And you're like, man, I, I, I really wish I could succeed, but I just don't get enough sleep. I don't get enough time to myself. I don't get enough this and this and this. Has there ever been somebody who has a very similar situation to you, like four kids under the age of 10, homeschool all of them, and they still succeeded? Ever in the history of mankind, has there ever been somebody that's in a very similar situation to you, but they succeeded at what you want to succeed at? There's a pretty good chance the answer to that question is yes. And if they can do it, why can't you do it? What is the difference between you and between them? Because you can either figure out a way to get it done, or you can fall back on your excuses and say, oh yeah, it's, it's because I have children. It's because I don't get enough sleep. It's because you know my children wake up at an early time so I can't get, get time for my own meditation, my own personal growth. Even if it's not success, it can literally just be your own personal growth. I've heard people say, yeah, I would meditate more, but I don't have time because I have children. Okay, we'll just wake up earlier and just do that. Figure out a way to get your children to bed at a time that would be reasonable and then find time for yourself. There's always a way. If there's a will, there's a way. The thing about it is that if it's important to you, you'll figure it out. So one of the things that I would, I would have you start, start saying is that just start saying it's not important to me. Don't say it's my children's fault. Don't say it's my spouse's fault. Don't say that it's this person's fault or the government or the president or whatever it is that, that you're blaming at this point in time for whatever it is you're blaming. Just say, I don't care. Say, I don't give a damn. Say, I just don't care enough and see if your mindset starts to change around it. So instead of saying, I don't have time to meditate because I have children, why don't you just say, I don't care to meditate. It's not a priority for me. See if that starts to change the way that you view it. 
instead of putting the blame outside of yourself, why don't you start taking the blame and putting it inside of yourself? Because one of the things that I've found is that most people, whenever they're trying to find an excuse, they always externalize their excuses and they blame something outside of them. Because when you blame something outside of, uh, outside of yourself, you can't control most things outside of yourself. So it makes you feel like, oh, I'm free because I, the blame is put outside of me. When in reality, if you're starting to notice that you're putting all of your blame and all of your excuses on something outside of you, turn that around and put all of the blame on something that is just you. It's not a priority for me. I'm not waking up early enough. I'm not putting it as the top of my list. And start blaming yourself. And what you'll notice is when you blame yourself, you actually start to take full control of it. And when you take full control of it is when you actually start to make changes. And so if I were to give you 30 seconds as to why you're not where you wanna be, why your business is not where you wanna be, why you're not making the money that you want to, why you're not as happy as you want to, why your marriage isn't where you want it to be, why you're not as peaceful as you think you could be, why you're not meditating enough, whatever it is. If I were to give you 30 seconds right now, I guarantee the majority of people right now could come up with 30 excuses as to why they are not exactly where they wanna be. Whether it's their children, whether it's time, whether it's their boss, whether it's their parents, whether it's their spouse, the government, the president, local businesses, authorities. I don't know what the hell you're blaming, but you could externalize that like crazy. And you could give me 30 reasons why you are not succeeding at whatever level you want to succeed at. There's always an excuse. There will always be an excuse, which makes it hard because if we're good enough salespeople, which we are to ourselves, I always say everyone's a salesperson and the best salesperson is you selling yourself on something. You can sell yourself enough to believe your BS excuses. You can, or you can just make a pact with yourself right now and say, I will no longer externalize any of my excuses. I will no longer make any more excuses and I will put full burden and blame upon myself and nobody else or nothing outside of me. And that's when you really start to take control of your life because there's always an excuse. You either find an excuse or you find a way. So instead of using, for instance, your children as a reason why you're not succeeding, what if you were to flip that on its head and use your children as the reason why you succeed? So instead of saying, I'm not succeeding because I have children that are keeping me up late at night or they're waking up earlier because I have to homeschool them and da 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 da, what if you flip that on its head and say, I will succeed at the highest level possible because my children deserve it, because I need to succeed for my children? How would that change your viewpoint on the world? How would that change the viewpoint of what you do on a daily basis? So instead of saying it's their fault why I'm not succeeding, I'm gonna say, I'm going to succeed because of them. I'm going to use them as the reason why I'm driven every single day, why I get up in the morning and work harder towards my goals, because I want to be able to make enough money to live in a better part of town so that my children get a better education so that they go to, and, and it's sad, it sucks that it's this way in America, but if you live in a better part of town, your children get a better education. That is, it, it sucks it's that way. It shouldn't be that way, but it is that way. So. If you succeed at a higher level and make more money, you're then able to take your children, move your children into a better part of town. When you move into a better part of town, there's a pretty good chance they're going to get a better education. If they get a better education as children, will that change the course of their life? Absolutely. Which means that maybe they'll go to a better college. Maybe they'll get such good grades that they get a full ride into college and they can go to any college that they want to. And that could change the trajectory of their lives completely because you decided to make a change, because you decided to stop making excuses and you decided to start using your children, instead of using your children as an excuse, you decide to start using your children as the reason, the why behind what you're doing. I'm going to succeed because I know that my succeeding will change the course of my children's life. So I'm gonna work my freaking ass off. Nobody will work harder than me because I'm going to do it for my children. I'm not gonna do it for myself. I'm gonna do it for them. And if there's one thing that I know by coaching tens of thousands of people is when you can, and remember, now this is going to be tricky because I said, you, you don't want to externalize your, your excuses. You want to internalize them and blame yourself, but you do want to try to externalize your why, your reason why you're going for whatever it is, your success, your happiness, your peace, your joy. If you can go, okay, I want to make $200,000 this year. And you say, I just want to make $200,000 because I want to succeed and make $200,000. You might make it. But if you, if you were to really sit down and attach 
the $200,000 to how it will change your children's lives, being able to take them to different places that they've never, maybe taking them to Australia or taking them, instead of having them read about Rome, what if we were to go to Rome and they were to actually be able to see it? How would that change your life? To be able to go on different experiences, to be able to see different cultures, how would that change your life versus just, you know, staying in Oklahoma where you currently are, wherever you live? It would change your life massively. And then what you do is you realize, I'm taking my why, why I want to make this $200,000, why I want to succeed, and I'm putting it onto them as them being the reason why. Because I know that if I work my ass off and develop the life that I want for my children, it will, if you were to build the life that you want right now for your children, would it change your children's lives? Absolutely, 100%. So why don't you do it? Why are you still blaming them as the reason why you're not succeeding? Why are you blaming external things? The moment that you decide to turn the mirror on yourself and say, no matter what happens in my life, I will blame myself for it. I will figure out a way to succeed is the moment where you take full responsibility for your life. You make the decision that full responsibility is what you're going to do. And that's when your life starts to change. And what do you do? You go, I'm going to succeed for my children. And instead of saying they're the reason why I'm not succeeding, I'm going to wake up earlier because it's easy to wake up earlier if I'm trying to do it for them. I'm going to stay up later to build my business, to leave where I currently am making, you know, $30,000 a year because I want to build a hundred thousand dollar year business. It might take a few years to get there. That's okay. But I know that I'm doing it for them. And when I get to that point, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take my children to Australia. I'm going to let them see a completely different country. I'm going to take them to Rome. I'm going to take them to Spain. I'm going to get into a better part of town, buy a house in a better part of town so they get a better education. They get a better education. It can completely change the trajectory of their lives. So I'm going to use it as the reason why I will succeed, not the excuse as to why I'm not succeeding. Now, for those of you that are out there that don't have children, how does this relate to you? What excuses are you believing that are complete BS at this point? How are you lying to yourself? What excuses are you believing in yourself that you keep saying over and over again? Oh yeah, I don't have enough time. I don't have enough energy. I'm too old. I'm too fat. My parents never gave me the right mindset. They never loved me. The government doesn't assist me. This president that's in the office, I hate. The, the people that are around me aren't supportive. I could come up with a million excuses. You could come up with a million excuses. Excuses are always going to be there. And we can either believe the excuses and sell ourselves on it, or we can figure out a reason to succeed. Life is that simple. Either you make an excuse or you find a way. That's what you need to figure out. Are you making too many excuses as to why you're not where you want to be to make yourself feel better for the current circumstances that you're in? Or are you going to wake up and say, listen, I don't care where I am. Somebody has been in my situation before and has succeeded. I'm going to use this as a reason why I will succeed. And ultimately, I'm going to do it for myself. Ultimately, I'm going to do it for my family. I'm going to do it for my children. I'm going to do it for my mom, my dad, to retire them, to get them a new car, to put them into a better part of town, to be able to afford putting them in, uh, you know, something nicer than a nursing home. Whatever it is that you want, to be able to just have the freedom that I want to provide for my family. That is what I want. I'm going to wake up earlier. I'm going to stay up later. I'm going to hire a freaking sitter once a week so I can have an entire day to just work on myself and work on my business. If you want to succeed bad enough, there is absolutely a million reasons why you should succeed. Have you written those down on a piece of paper? Here's what I'll challenge you to do. I want you to get a pen and paper out right now and I want you to ask yourself the question, what excuses am I telling myself every single day? Write all of them down. Write them all down. Pause me. What are all of the excuses that I'm telling myself every single day? That's number one. Number two, why are all of these lies? I want you to prove to yourself, prove to your brain that all of the excuses that you're saying to yourself are all lies. You could work through them if you really wanted to. And number three, why will I succeed? What am I going to find externally outside of myself as a reason why I want to succeed? Is it for myself? Is it for my family? Is it to be able to retire my parents? Is it to be able to buy my parents a house? Is it to be able to take my children and put them in a better part of town? Is it to be able to take my children to, you know, go to another country? Is it to be able to just not have to say to my kids anymore, I can't afford it or we don't have enough money and to stop feeling that pain? That alone could be enough drive to get yourself moving. Because ultimately, it's the way life goes. Either you make an excuse or you find a way. 
But ultimately, it's all up to you. It has always been up to you. And you are the person to blame for it. That's the beautiful thing about life. If you don't have the life that you want to, you're to blame for it. But if you create the life that you want to, you are also to blame for it. And when you place the blame on yourself, you make the full decision that I'm going to succeed. And here's the reason why I'm going to succeed because I take full 100% responsibility for where I am and where I'm going. And that is how you start to change your life. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to learn even more about mastering your mind, click right here and watch this video as well. There will never be a perfect time. The perfect time is always now because your comfort zone is where your dreams go to die. You have to jump off the ledge and know that the parachute will open. You can't open the parachute before you jump off the ledge.